Hi everyone, it's Jeff from Avada here. In this video we'll be looking at how to set up a portfolio in Avada. The Portfolio Custom Post Type, together with Avada Layouts and Postcards, offer you the best and most up-to-date method for setting up a portfolio on your Avada website. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. OK, let's begin. For this video, I'm going to set up a portfolio section to the Avada Painter and Decorator site I built recently. If you didn't see that build, check out the videos, I'll link them below. I've had to re-enable portfolio from the Avada options as I'd turned it off when I ran the performance wizard previously, and I've also re-enabled a few extra elements I want to use. The place to start with understanding how to set up a portfolio is that the portfolio is a custom post type in Avada in the same way the blog or FAQ is. Once you have some portfolio posts, you can display them. So on the front end, there's usually a portfolio page which displays the collected portfolio posts, then there's the individual posts themselves, and there are also the portfolio archives. If we come to the WordPress sidebar, you can see the portfolio links, and it's here you create your individual posts and categorize them. There is portfolio, which will take us to a page with all the existing portfolio items. We can also add new portfolio items, as well as create portfolio categories, skills, and tags. This as well is similar to the blog custom post type, which also offers categories and tags as a way of filtering content. Let's go to the portfolio page. And here we can see I've made a few portfolio posts. Let's edit one of these to see how you can work with this post type. I've come into the Gutenberg editor here, as like my blog posts, I'm going to build a layout that's going to be responsible for the design. So here I'm basically just adding raw content. We have a title, and then some basic content. In the right sidebar we can see the categories, skills, and tags. With these you can structure and organize your portfolio content, and this is also used for the archives. Under this we have the main featured image, and below that I have added an excerpt here, which will be pulled by the layout. Further down are the remaining featured images. I have added five of these for each portfolio post, and these will be pulled with the layout as well. At the very bottom here there's a link to the global options if you want to change how many featured images you can add. Under the main content is the Avada page options. When using layouts, about half of these will not be relevant. As I don't have a layout yet, it shows all of them, but once the layout is active, only the video embed code and video URL for Lightbox will be available, as will the options from project URL through to open portfolio links in new window. I'm not going to use any of these, however, in my portfolio, but just remember these are page options, so anything you set here will only apply to the individual portfolio post. OK, so I have my posts, and now we need to display them. I've made a new page called Our Portfolio, and on the home page here I've linked it from this button here in the Hero section, and added it to the bottom of this Services mega menu. So let's go and build the page. The method we recommend here is to use Avada Postcards. There is a portfolio element, but postcards give much more flexibility with design and have become the best method. I've added the usual page title bar section to the page, and I have an empty container under this for my postcard element. I've also imported a postcard from Avada Studio for the portfolio items, but you can of course also just build your own. This one is very simple, it's just an image element pulling the featured image and title and categories, with one of the pre-designed captions added to it. So let's add that postcard. I'll just select the portfolio postcard and set the post type to portfolio. OK, there's our posts. I'll just go to the design tab and set the number of columns back to two. OK, that's good. Let's save that and come to the front end. Yeah, that looks nice. Now we don't have a layout as yet, but let's just open one of these posts to see what it looks like by default. OK, it's pretty plain, but the content is all there. But we can definitely improve on this with a layout. I'll just go to Avada Layouts, and create a layout called Portfolio Single Post. And while I'm here, I'll make one called Portfolio Archive. OK, let's start with the Portfolio Single Post layout. I'm happy to use the global header and footer, so it's just the content section I want to create. So I'll click on Select Content, 
and add a new layout section here called Portfolio Single Content. For the conditions, I will add the condition of All Portfolio. Yeah, that should do it. And now I'll edit the Content Layout section. There are a few Portfolio Content Layout sections in Nevada Studio, but for this example, let's just build this one from scratch. To start off, I'll just go to the Layout Section Options tab and the Layout Section tab, and set the View Dynamic Content option as Portfolio, and just select a Portfolio item for the preview. Now for the content, I have my title, my written content, my excerpt, five featured images, and I have my skills and tags to display. I'll start with a 1-1 one -one container, and I'll edit that, and set 140 pixels top padding and 120 pixels bottom padding. And on the background tab, I'll set color 5, and turn the color down by adding minus 25 in the alpha channel. Finally, for this container, I'll just go to the Extras tab and set an animation. I'll choose Fade from the top at 0.9 of a second with no delay. OK, so in here I'll add a title element. I'll set the title to be Dynamic Content, and here I'll choose Title. And on the Design tab, I'll center this and give it a color of color 1. I'll also set 0 pixels top margin. Now I might just duplicate this title as I want another title underneath this. And here I'll set the dynamic content of Excerpt Archive Description. This pulls my excerpt from the portfolio post. On the Design tab I'll set this to be a H2, and I'll apply the Global Subheadings Typography set. Finally I'll add 20% left and right margin. OK, under this I want a new container, and this time I'll choose a 1 quarter, 3 quarter option. I'll edit the container, and on the Design tab I'll set 100 pixels top and bottom padding. And on the Background tab, I'll make this one color 2. And again on the Extras tab, I'll set an animation. And this time it will be Fade, from the right, also at 0.9 of a second. OK, let's add content. In the first column, I'm going to add the Project Details element. This pulls the skills, categories and tags from my posts. And all I think I'll do here is hide the author. OK, in the next column I want to display the first featured image. So I'll add an image element, and set the dynamic content to be featured image. As you can see, you can choose from any of the featured images here, but I'm happy with the main one. I'll just skip lazy loading as this is close to the top of the page, and I'll also turn the lightbox on. On the design tab, I'll set a hover type of zoom in. OK, below this I want another 1-1 one -one container. This time I'll set 75 pixels top padding, and 25 pixels bottom padding. In this container, I'll add the content element. This pulls the main content from my portfolio posts. I'll just set drop cap to yes, and I think that will do it. Under this, I'll add the pagination element. I'll set the layout to sticky preview, and on the design tab, I think I'll set a preview height of 120 pixels, a width of 300 pixels, and a visible area of 50 pixels. OK, I'll add a new 1 1 container under this. And inside this, I'll add another title element. I'll call this Gallery, and set it to be a H2. I'll also give it 0 pixels top margin, and 40 pixels bottom margin. And under this, I will add the Featured Images slider element. I'll set Show First Featured Image to No, and I think that will do. OK, one more container here, and I'm going to add a Nevada form. But first, I'll edit the container, and give it 75 pixels top and bottom padding, and on the background, I'll set the color as color 2. To separate this from the footer, I'll set the alpha channel to minus 50. OK, here I will start with a title. It's going to say, like what you see, request a callback. And on the design tab, I'll set it to the center and make it a H3. Under this, I'll add a Nevada form element and select my callback form. OK, that's my portfolio single post content layout section. Let's save it. And now let's come back to our portfolio post that we opened before, and let's refresh this. Yes, that looks a far sight better. OK, so now we just have to organize the archives. I'll come back to Avada Layouts and add a new Content Layout section to the Portfolio Archive Layout. I'll call this one Portfolio Archives Content. And for this layout, let's add some conditions. I'll go to the Archives tab, and here I'll select Portfolio Archive Types, All Portfolio Categories, 
All Portfolio Skills and All Portfolio Tags. That should do it. So now let's edit the layout section. I'll just look in Avada Studio and filter to Archives. And there's one here I like the look of. Let's preview that. It's very similar to the portfolio one I imported, so let's use this. I'll just import. And I might make one change. And I'll edit the container and go to the background tab and add minus 50 to the alpha channel again to separate it from the footer. So this is using the postcard archives element here, which on the front end will just show the selected archives. OK, let's save this, and I think we're done. Let's now go back to the home page and check out our newly implemented portfolio setup. We have the link in the services mega menu, and we have the button here. I'll just use that. Our portfolio page opens, and we can see all our portfolio posts. I'll just open one, and we can see the content is using our layout. Very nice. I'll just use the pagination, and this takes us to the next post. And now if I click on a skill, category, or tag, this will take us to an archive page, and our archives layout will kick in. My coming soon dummy item is showing up here as I added all the categories to that as well. OK, that's it. Thanks for staying with me. This is the best way to set up a portfolio with Avada, and allows an enormous degree of flexibility with your design. OK, this concludes our video on how to set up a portfolio in Avada. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.